Hello everyone, welcome to Physics World. Today we are going to see about stimulated absorption, spontaneous emission, stimulated emission. In order to learn how photons are generated, you can see the two energy level in the diagram. The lower energy level is E1 and higher energy level is E2. Electrons are in the lower energy level. Suppose the photon having the energy h mu which is exactly equal to the difference between the two energy levels. So the electron can absorb one photon at a time. So the electron absorb this photon. Now the electron is moves to the excited energy level. As you can see the electron are initially in lower energy level. With the absorption of photon the electron moves to the excited energy level. So we are forcing the electron to move the excited state or upward direction. So this process is known as stimulated absorption. Spontaneous emission. For spontaneous emission, initially the electrons are in the excited energy level. This excited energy level are unstable state. The electron in the excited energy level will immediately come back to the ground energy level E1. Then the electron moves from higher energy level to lower energy level. This electron will release the photon which energy is equal to energy level difference between E2 minus E1. Third one is stimulated emission. The word stimulated stands for forced reaction. In this stimulated emission, electrons are initially in the excited energy level. There are certain excited state where the electron can stay more than 10 to the power of minus 3 seconds. The electron which stay 10 to the power of minus 3 seconds in excited energy level, such state are known as metastable state. In the stimulated emission, already electron are in the excited energy level. So the electron already having one photon of energy. Suppose if we send one more photon having the energy h mu, which energy is equal to e2 minus e1. In this transaction, instead of one, this electron will release two photon. One photon which was absorption during the upward direction. Another one from trigger to photon. As a result, two photon released in this process. Such process is known as stimulated emission.